You want me to show you how to DC the bombing grenade? Okay, I will. DC bombing grenade the easy way. Now, is the one you ask? Well, the easiest way is often not the best way. I will show you the easiest, best way of doing it. And please don't get confused because I get confused every time when people show me the way or ways on how to really wreck a bombing grenade. So I want to set things right in this video. First, I need to tell you what not to do. Why me? Well, 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 I worked in some of the best, managed, owned and worked in some of the best restaurants in Europe. And I run a cooking school since over 10 years. So yes, deseeding bombing grenades is a question I get asked a lot. I today will not take the perfect bombing grenade. I will take something that's actually not so perfect because that's what you come across every day. I don't want to show off and show you something that looks super easy on the video. And then when you do it at home, you struggle. Because if you see me struggling, you can relate. I suffer with you. I'm just joking. So there are so many ways and the worst of all times must be the one where people take a spoon, a wooden spoon, and then they beat the heck out of those poor fruits. And to open them up, the miraculously all the seeds fall out. Yes, the seeds, but what happens to the pulp? You know, what happens to the yummy stuff, the juice, you know, the gold? Show me the juice, put me grenade. Well, it's all run off, gone wasted. But hey, here are the seeds. No texture, no flavor. So, I mean, you need to agree with me that it's not the smartest way, but hey, there is an even more stupid way. And that's it when some people tell you to put it in water so that the membranes separate from the seeds. Well, then it's really all gone wrong and over because now you also wash the last little bit of goodness away. In the first version, at least you could save the juice. I think it's a bit of a translation problem because in the Middle East, they eat them like I show you now. They knead the fruit, you know, they knead it like so until it's soft, then they poke a hole in it, and then they drink it like that out of the hand. They squeeze out all the juice. Well, that works really well and you should try that at home, but don't do that when you wear a white t-shirt. Okay. Now the ways it should be done. An Iranian lady showed me that years ago. And that's where apparently those fruits originate. They go back to the 14th century PC and apparently Adam and Eva got kicked out of the paradise, not because of an apple, it was a pomegranate apple. It's also known as paradise apple. Anyway, I might have that all wrong, but it makes a bloody good story. Nothing beats a good story. And pomegranates are yummy and they're so sour and sweet. It's just perfect and the color is just amazing. Nothing of tequila sunrise. Yes, pomegranate syrup, that's, that's what you need. Troy's Paris handed it to Aphrodite, which caused the war that lasted decades. We hear from Greek mythology. The name is quite dramatic too, because when they drop, see that here, they burst and they create a real mess. So hand grenades got the name from pomegranates. It's definitely full of a lot of stories and history. So now let's do it. How do we do it properly? You cut out the hat the bottom of the, from the bottom of the pomegranate. Then you remove the head. Using a help with your knife, if necessary, then cut several vertical slits along the lines, you see the membranes, where you see the membranes running, then gently remove the central core that holds it all together, and then basically break the pomegranate apart, and then you separate the natural segments and sections, and then you deseed it, you know, and for that action you use your fingers, because you don't want to break the flesh up. Then separate them all out, remove any broken up membrane and voila that's how you see the bomb grenade like that you can store them for several weeks in an airtight container in your fridge now check out my online courses for recipes with these fruits i hope that was helpful to you I personally like pomegranates and vinaigrettes and it goes so well with fish. So check out my video on fish with crispy skins, four different ways. So you want, you want me to show you how to, how they, how they do that in Persia? Okay, I've seen it a few times. So basically just knead it like so. Really try to soften it up, yeah? 
So now you can feel it's all really soft inside. I'm gonna make a little hole in it, like so. And then you drink it. I saw once a guy who was doing it like, squeeze the... Ah, fuck, that's a mess. Put them in the freezer and also put a shot of tequila in here. Shake it up and you're done. Thanks so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you in my other videos. Have a great day.